Whether you use it for baking delicious desserts or making homemade cleaning products, baking soda is a common household staple. However, baking soda has another helpful use. It's a popular DIY solution for pest control. After all, it's cheap, it's readily available, it's non-toxic, and it's present in just about every home kitchen. For some pests, this powder is lethal, while for others, it's merely a deterrent. If your garden or home is overrun by a specific type of critter, discover if baking soda can be an effective repellent and how to use it to keep them out of your spades. 1. Fleas In case you're ever wondering whether it's possible to get rid of fleas with baking soda, then the answer is yes. For this flea home remedy to work, sprinkle baking soda on your carpets and furniture, then take a hard brush and rub it onto the fabric. After that, vacuum your home thoroughly and empty the contents of the vacuum into a bag and place it in an outside bin. Baking soda dehydrates and kills flea larvae and eggs, preventing the outbreak from growing out of control. 2. Mice and Rats No one wants to have rats and mice in their home, and there are many other popular methods of dealing with them. Many people turn to baking soda as their first option. Start by mixing a cup of cornmeal with either a cup of powdered chocolate mix or sugar. Next, add in one cup of baking soda and blend in well. To make rodent traps, fill jars with the bait mixture until they're about half full. Place the jars in areas where the rodents frequent. This homemade rat poison attracts the rats with the chocolate or sugar and kills them with the baking soda. The baking soda creates carbon dioxide gas when it reacts with the stomach acids of the rodent. Rats cannot pass gas, so the carbon dioxide has nowhere to go and eventually leads to ruptures or internal blockages. 3. Cockroaches Baking soda has many uses around the home, and it can also be used to kill cockroaches. However, the insects need to actually ingest the baking soda for it to be effective. Once consumed, the baking soda mixed with acid and any water in the roach's stomachs will react and build up pressure that eventually kills the insects. It may be effective in killing roaches, but baking soda isn't naturally attractive to the insects. If you're going to use baking soda to solve your roach problem, you'll need to mix the baking soda with something else to encourage roaches to eat it. Cockroaches are attracted to sugary and starchy foods, not baking soda. The best thing to mix with baking soda to create a trap is sugar. Combine equal parts sugar and baking soda in a small bowl and then sprinkle it in corners near your kitchen or other parts of your home where you've spotted the roaches. The sugary smell will attract roaches to the mixture and lead them to eat it. Once they've ingested the mixture, all there is left to do is to wait for the baking soda to react inside the roaches. Unlike chemical insecticides, baking soda is not an immediate solution for roaches. It should take about 12 to 24 hours for roaches to die after consuming the baking soda mixture. The timing may vary depending on how much baking soda was ingested and how much water the roaches have consumed. To ensure you've gotten every last roach in your home, continue to sprinkle the mixture around your home for a few days until you don't see any more live roaches scurrying around. 4. Ants You can use baking soda to keep ants out of your home or to kill the ones that have set up on your property. To use it for infestation prevention, you just need some baking soda. Ants know to avoid pure baking soda, so you can sprinkle it around doorways, windowsills, and other entry points to keep them out of your home. You can also sprinkle some in cabinets, under sinks, and in other dark, moist places where ants may find shelter in your home. To use baking soda as an insecticide, you need baking soda and confectioner sugar. Ants know to avoid baking soda, but masking it with sugar will trick them into consuming the chemical and sharing it with their colony. Follow these steps to kill ants with baking soda. Mix equal parts confectioner sugar and baking soda in a cup. Note that you must use confectioner sugar. Ants will be able to separate regular sugar from the baking soda. Depending on the type of ant you're dealing with, you may add honey, jam, peanut butter, or another treat to make the trap more appealing. Sprinkle the mix around high traffic areas where you have ants. For example, if ants are using a crack in the wall to access your kitchen, put some baking soda mix at the mouth of the opening. You should also seal the entrance once you've dealt with the infestation. Scatter the mix outside on mounds and other areas where ants may build their nests, such as stepping stones, firewood piles, and around the base of trees. These simple steps should be enough to fix your ant problem. You may also blend some water in with the baking soda and sugar mix to create a paste. Another trick is to place some of the baking soda mix in a soda can and leave it outside. 
Ants will climb into the can to access the sugary mix, but your pets won't be able to access it. 5. Bed Bugs A popular home remedy for bed bugs is baking soda. In bed bugs, baking soda absorbs surface fluids on their waxy shell, causing them to dehydrate. The small granules of baking soda can also cause internal bleeding due to the fact that they can cut into a bed bug shell. To treat bed bugs with this DIY method, sprinkle baking soda around the mattress and the area around the bed where bed bugs usually live. It should be vacuumed up after a few days, and the process should be repeated. 6. Centipedes Centipedes are attracted to damp, hidden places like drains and piles of leaves. Because of this, they may be found lurking in your shower or sink. Sprinkling baking soda on carpets before vacuuming can eliminate the excess moisture in your home that attracts these leggy critters. If they're crawling through your pipes, you'll need a half a cup of baking soda and one cup of white vinegar. Pour these two household items down the drain separately, and as they combine, the mixture will release carbon dioxide that eliminates the centipedes. 7. Cabbage Worms Equal parts flour and baking soda is the winning combination to free your crops from cabbage worms. Plants in the Brassica family, like broccoli and cauliflower, are delectable to the cabbage worms, who will leave your greens with several missing bites. However, you only need to dust the vegetables with the powder to keep the worms away. Within two days, the crops should be pest-free. 8. Silverfish Baking soda is a natural silverfish repellent. Use it to dry out wet areas near drains or rocks that attract the insects. For your garden, sift an even layer of baking soda on the soil to keep the critters at bay. In your home, sprinkle it on the carpet and floors before vacuuming to dehydrate their eggs or to remove any moisture that may be luring the creatures into your space. 9. Rabbits While rabbits are adorable sights, they're known to rummage through gardens and pick at greens, flowers, produce, and bark. However, these fluffy animals are not a fan of the taste of baking soda. Creating an outline of sodium bicarbonate around the plants that rabbits favor will keep the critters away. You'll need to reapply the powder after every rainfall, but you'll have an all-natural bunny repellent that doesn't harm the mammals. 10. Hornworms Hornworms love to snack on leafy greens, so your garden vegetables are not safe from these herbivores. To get rid of these pests, you can dust baking soda directly onto their bodies or the eggs to kill them. A mixture of equal parts flour and baking soda also creates a deadly snack that you can sprinkle around your yard to repel these worms. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to Natural Health Remedies and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on how to get rid of pests using onions. Thanks for watching and bye for now.